This show is produced by the Harwood Podcast Network. Hi, I'm Cindy Harris, and we love making this show available to you free of charge. If you'd like to help us keep it that way, make a contribution to our Karma Jar or become a show sponsor. To learn more, visit our website. Today I wanted to share with you a wonderful savory bite for your tea tray. These little black forest pinwheels are just the ticket. They're great served on a baguette or cracker. Let's start by getting the filling for our ham pinwheels made. Now I have a medium sized bowl here and I have eight ounces of cream cheese. Now normally if I can get away with it, I like to use a light cream cheese but for this recipe, you really need to go full fat. I find that many times the um, light cream cheese is a little bit soft, and for this recipe, I really need the cream cheese to stay as firm as possible. So I'm gonna take the entire eight ounces and put that in my bowl. Next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of a light mayonnaise. And now I'm going to take one whole green onion. I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm gonna split each half in half lengthwise. Then I'm gonna gather it together, and I'm gonna finely chop this up. Now once I've run my knife through the onion one time, I'm gonna go back over and you'll notice I'm putting my hand on the top of the blade like this and I'm gonna rock it back and forth because I wanna get those pieces really fine. And then I'll take that chopped scallion and add that right into my bowl. Next, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a half a teaspoon of soy sauce, and next I have some hot sauce and I'm going to put about three drops of that in. Now I'd like to get a little bit of mustard flavor, but instead of using a prepared mustard, I'm going to use a quarter of a teaspoon of a dry ground mustard. And lastly, a little pinch of salt. Normally I use my big KitchenAid mixer when I'm gonna mix things, but when I'm gonna be doing something small like this, this is when a hand mixer works out great. So I'm gonna mix this until it's nice and creamy. Then I'll set my cream cheese mixture aside, and I've got eight slices of black forest ham. Now, black forest ham is a smoked ham that comes from the black forest region of Germany. It has a fantastic flavor, and it's really good with this pinwheel. Now, when you have the deli cut the black forest ham for you, have them cut it just a teeny bit thicker than sandwich size because we want it to be in a nice full piece like this. Now, before we roll our uh, ham, I do want to make sure that the slices are nice and dry. Sometimes ham is packaged in a bit of liquid, which is great for keeping the ham moist, but can make our job of rolling just a little bit more difficult. So you can see what I'm doing here is I take a piece of the ham and I just press it between two pieces of paper towel. And you can see I'm getting a little bit of moisture off of it, which is great. And now I'm gonna place all eight slices on my board because I wanna divide this cream cheese mixture up nice and evenly. I also have a little tray with a piece of parchment or wax paper in the bottom. As I roll these up, I'm gonna be setting them over here. So I'm going to take my cream cheese mixture and I'm just gonna begin by putting a little bit in the center of each of the slices of ham. And then I'll go back and just make sure that they all have about the same amount of cream cheese. And then with my little spatula, or I could use a knife, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna spread that cream cheese all over the pieces of ham. And now I'm going to take the slice of ham and I'm going to get on the long side of it and I'm just gonna tightly roll that up. And then I'll pick it up and then with the seam side down, I'm just gonna place that right on my tray. 
Now we won't be able to slice these quite yet because they're not firm enough. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this whole tray and put it in the freezer for 30 minutes. Now here's a make ahead tip for you. If you want, you could make these up to this point and then wrap them up in some plastic and put them in a zip bag and put them in the freezer for up to a month. Then if you need to have something for your tea tray in the next couple of weeks, take a few out and slice them up then. But these hold beautifully in the freezer, again, for about a month. Now, while we're waiting for our little rolls to firm up in the freezer, I just want to remind you about the three tea books that I have available for digital download on our website. Afternoon Tea with These is a great book for showing how to put an afternoon tea together really easy using things that you find at the grocery store. And then if you're looking for a themed tea, Tropical Tea with Ease is great. It's got recipes and ideas for your table setting and invitations and it's a really fun little book. And then if you're into doing a little reflecting time for yourself while you're having a cup of tea, check out Tea With Your Reflection. This has a lot of great insight tools that I use for myself while you're sitting down and having a cup of tea. Well, these have been in the freezer for half an hour and they're nice and firm. You can see when I hold them up, they don't wiggle at all. I'm gonna set these to the side and to serve these, you can either use baguette or crackers and I had they had some great baguette at the store today. So I'm just gonna take a serrated knife and I'm gonna cut some, oh, about half inch thick slices. I like to slice it on the diagonal as well. And now we're gonna slice up our little pinwheels. Now for that, I like to use a non-serrated knife because I find the serrations it works great on bread because it cuts through that crust. But for something like this, I want a nice smooth um, cut. So I come in just a little bit, you can see, at the edge here of the ham. Um, if I were to cut that, it would be uneven. So I'm gonna just take that little bit off. And then I'm gonna cut these in about half inch slices. And you can see with it being firm, it slices really nicely. And you can see this is the kind of slice I'm looking for. It's got that nice filling with the ham wrapped around it. And I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna place that right on top of my baguette. And then I'm gonna use this little pedestal tray and I'm just gonna place them right in a circle, just like this. Now, because the cream cheese and ham are cold right now, you could serve these and they'll be ready to eat in about five minutes. They defrost very quickly. But if you were gonna get these ready and maybe you were gonna serve them in an hour or so, I would cover them with plastic and put them in the refrigerator. That way the ham and the cream cheese doesn't get too warm. Well, if you'd like to give these little black forest pinwheels a try, just go to our website and go to the Come for Tea show notes and I'll have the recipe there for you. And as always, if you have any questions, please send me an email. I'll see you next time.